So we got a call for a Land Rover Range Rover that is, has become stuck at Sand Hollow. They said they're buried to the axles, so we are going to head out there and get them. They sent me their GPS location, which puts them on the south side of the highway there, so we'll go see if we can find them and get them out. Been out of state of Kentucky. The last really? of my off roading. Yeah. When we get hung up, we just hook to a tree or something and drive to the house. You know, so, but yeah. Well, there's none of that around here. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I noticed that. It's, uh. How's it going? <laughs> Not too good at the moment, brother. <laughs> ah, we'll get you right out of here. Hey, we done good, man. We just got here and just bottomed out and sat down on the sand, man. And all four tires just spin. I dug out around the tires and I said, I can't, I gotta have something to dig out underneath and I ain't had to dig it out one day. Yeah, we'll just pull you back. Uh, I'll go back right up here. Uh, yeah. Hey, don't do any gas now, bro. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Take that sucker up out of I think got too many bells and whistles for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at the sand coming out the bottom of it, man. Yeah, it scooped uh, up a little bit. That's crazy, boy. <laughs> so I know here, I'm like, I want a vehicle for the city and for off-roading, but it's not quite that much of an off-road vehicle. Well, they, we, ain't, we ain't had a lick of top nowhere we went, except when we got off on this little road. And then when we hit that little spot right there, boy, she just went, poosh. Yeah. And... Actually, yeah, it's not letting you get the revs up. Like I had it floored there, and it's it, even though with the traction control off, it's completely overriding. Yep. Right. Okay. Well, that's that. We'll make sure you get out. We'll wait for you down there, and we can settle up. Okay. Sounds great. Right, Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Hey, you were doing good mobbing. I slowed down. I slowed down. I said, what are you doing? You practically stopped in the curve. Don't stop. Well, I think that thing will take over for you. I'm I'm on her side right now. You're right. <laughs> Matt, nah, do you only want one rope? Yeah. So, uh, if you got anything in mind, I'll go down to low gear, buddy, and I'd hammer on. <laughs> Who's this at? Oh, it's yours? <laughs> I'm gonna ride back here with him and I'll hold the door open. Okay. Okay, hang on a second, Matt. Hold on, Matt. He's just burying it. Okay, let's pull him to the top of this hill.
disrupted the surface. of the sand. Do you know what would help that Range Rover? What's that? A winch. Yeah. <laughs> Matt? Huh? Do you know what would help that Range Rover? A winch? <laughs> If it was... No, 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 not right there, Hefe. It'll smash your hands. Okay, make sure he doesn't overrun me. Okay. Okay. See? Let's stop him. Stop him right here. I hope I Back got that. Back up a little? Back up a little, Matt. He does, he's going to be stuck again, Matt. Yeah, he's stuck. Okay. Can I get it? Well, Hefe should get in there and... It doesn't... We'll just pull him out, but he needs to keep the rope tight. I'll talk to him about okay. it.
road a little ways, we were able to find them. When they drove in the first time, the sand was undisturbed. When they drove across it, that broke it up enough that it lost a lot of its surface tension, or I don't know how you want to call it, but when it's undisturbed, you can drive over it. It's a lot harder to drive in some of these tracks. They were unable to drive back out the same way that they went in because the sand had been disturbed and was really deep. So we had to pull them out quite a ways, and then when we turned them loose, they got a little froggy with it. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun to watch.